guys. So we are doing a different kind of video today. The groom and I had the pleasure of going to a horror convention very locally to us called the Horror Sideshow Market. I believe this might be the second or third time they've held it. I went to the one about three months ago and it has exponentially gotten better and I'm so excited to see that they had some really big names. Uh, one of which is Felissa Rose, who we had the absolute pleasure of meeting. And we got to talk to her for about 20 solid minutes just about our love of horror. And obviously we had to tell her how much we enjoy her work. And she went, you know, further saying how, you know, about the horror icon she really likes and how, you know, sometimes you don't meet such nice people, but when you meet people you really look up to and they're living up to that image that you have and they're so cool and they're so open girl that was you you were so nice to us and thank you so so much so. she did sign for us our survival kit box set i'll hold it up here there we go super awesome i just i can't get over how nice she was like holy shit so nice so from there we met a TV host personality. Greetings, boys and girls. My name is Mark Damien McDonald, local horror host here out of Lehigh Valley. If you have RCN as a service provider, you can actually watch my show on Saturday nights at 9.30 or on video on demand. If you don't have RCN as a service provider, you can check out my show on YouTube. So uh, please feel free to check out my show anytime you like. You know, hit the like, subscribe, share. You can also check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram. I uh, host old horror movies on TV, much in the lines of like Elvira or Sven Gulli. Uh, but I also do occasionally do more modern uh, reviews of horror movies as well. So please feel free to check me out and have a ghastly evening. Please give him a watch. If you don't have RCN, of course, you can watch him on YouTube. So they had a lot more uh, movie vendors this time, which I was super excited about. This particular shop, <clears throat> I can't remember what they were called. I think the groom did get some footage. But it seems like their whole mission is to take VHS and convert it to DVD, which, you know, everyone has the ability to play at this point. So I will show some of the goodies I got. I have not heard of this one before, but it said Tom Savini. So, um, hello, I'm getting it. So there's the one. Show you the back. Very cool. And... I was watching a horror documentary the other day called Why Horror, which I really strongly recommend you watch. It's very cool, very fun time watching it. They had scenes from this movie cut in everywhere, and they kept referencing this movie, so I put it on my list of things to watch and was incredibly excited when I could get my grubby little hands on it. So very stoked to watch this. Have you seen this? Let me know. I feel as though a review will be coming. <laughs> nope. I have watched this film many a time on Amazon Prime and I'm super stoked to now have it in my collection because I'm a huge fan of this movie. Very good. And I've been dying to watch this one literally forever. I feel like this is perfect with the fall season coming upon us. You know, I saw Trick or Treats which I did not enjoy. I, for some reason, thought it was this movie. So I'm really, really, really stoked to watch that. So then from, I think it was Scream, S-C-R-E-E-M, from uh, their table, I got this because it said it's uncut. I have Dead Alive, like the American version, but I do not have this. And I really enjoy the cover art. I think it looks great show you the back there and like hello ten dollars there was no question that i was going to buy this so very excited to see if this one is truly different than the version i own and then of course this one 
Possession. I've had a lot of people recommend this movie to me, and I've not been able to find it on streaming services, so I'm really excited to have this in my collection as well, because everyone tells me it's not so much like a gory horror, it's more body horror, psychological, which freaks me out more. I enjoy body horror more, but I feel like the psychological element like will creep you out beyond anything. And I put a sticker in one of these from, there it is. So at the last one I went to, there's a vendor called Fairy Cute. And I had gotten this tote bag, which I absolutely adore. I took this to the beach. There's still sand in it, but that's not going to stop me from using it because no matter how many times I wash it or like shake it out upside down, I can't get the sand out. But I love that bag so much. She did give me a sticker adorable and that's like literally what she looks like she doesn't have wings unfortunately but there she is so please check out her merch i did get a shirt this time i really wanted the the cat one it was per perfectly evil it was super cute but i ended up getting this which is precious and i just love the design i love her art her website is on the back as you can see so please check her out. She's super awesome. Oh, uh, look, it matches your bag. <laughs> nope. Look at the one at the very end. Yeah, there it is. Bun in the coven. <laughs> oh. oh my god, yeah. If that wasn't white, I would tell you to get that one. Well, you can't control what people say in public, unfortunately. If that was black with white lead, or it'd be perfect. We will have links of everyone's social medias whom we grab the cards for and have that all in the description box below. I cannot wait for the next one. I'm so excited. It just seems like this gets better and better and better. And it is a very small place compared to, let's say, like Monster Mania in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, or like obviously Comic Con is massive. This is a very small space, but they do use the space so well. Everyone is really nice. There's not, you know, you get used to going to cons and you're kind of shoved around because people just don't look and I have no peripheral sight. So I don't see people coming and like when you're looking at a booth, people shove past you and I really didn't have that problem here, which I'm really excited about. That was nice. Nice humans being nice humans. <laughs> We could just do like we did in China. We could talk like <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this little mini haul 
and all the footage that we got. Thank you so much to the groom for taking that footage for me. And this was actually his first uh, horror convention and he had a really good time. So I'm glad he did. And I'm glad that he is more open to going to these kinds of things. We can't wait for the next one that's coming up. This is brought by the guy that does the, there's a horror convention in New Jersey. We can link the name for that down below as well. And he manages both. So you're doing great. Thank you so much. Thank you for having a place where everyone can come together. Uh, what are some horror conventions in your area that you really enjoy? Leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my reviews solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Also, please don't forget to check out all of their amazing creators and content. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.